Good morning. Let's solve 4024 paper 1, October, November 2008. Um, you know that that's non-calculated version. You are not supposed to use the calculator for this. One important point to notice over here, the instruction given, omission of essential working will result in loose marks. Okay, I'm using red pen, but you're supposed to use right in dark blue or black pen. So remember that. Okay. <laughs> Let's do question number one. <clears throat> That's evaluation. Uh, three, six, uh, 18. And after point, I have one, two, three digits. So one, two, three. That's 0 0.018. Then this is Bodmash. Bodmash rule. You have to do multiplication before the addition. So it's 15. Then after point, one digits. So right over here and 0 0.4. If you add that, you can add it over here. 1.5, 0 0.4, that's 1.9. Don't write it over here, it say so. So it's 1.9 or 1.9. You can keep the answer is like this, or you can um, just just showing this, okay? 1.903 significant figures, okay? Express 0 0.45 as a fraction, this as a fraction. Now, 0 0.45, that can be written, written as 45 divided by 100. Then it says giving your answer in its lowest term so lowest term means you, you can simplify that as much as possible so both of them are divisible by 5 5 9 sir, 5 20 sir. Uh, they don't have any more common factors so that's at 9 by 20 that's the answer 5 by 9 do it 13 by 40 as a percentage so 13 by 40 times 100 percent so 100 divided by 100 that's one that's the cross out that's gonna be 5 and 2 so this is going to be uh, 13 5 says 65 divided by 2 and that's actually 3 2 5 that's so 32.5 evaluate so this is mixed number change it to improper fraction 5 3 is a 15 plus 1 16 divided by 5 minus 3 2 is a 6 6 to 6 plus 2 8 divided by 3 they are co prime, so their LCM would be 5 3 is a 15, and 3 16 is a 48, and 5 8 is a 40. Remember that minus sign. So it's going to be 48 minus 40, that's 8 by 15. So 8 by 15. And this is indices. 4 can be written as 2 square, and then you have 3 by 2, 2 to cross out. So 2 cubed, going to give you 8. So that's eight. Okay. Now question number four. A basketball stadium has 13,492 seats. During a season, a basketball team played 26 matches and every seat was sold. Every seat was sold. So all, every match, all of this were sold. Okay. For each match. At e each match, a seat cost $18.80. Okay. These points are important. So I just underline it. Uh, by writing each value is correct to one significant figures. Okay, so that can be written as uh, one significant figure. So second one is less than five. So that's going to be one and followed by one, two, three, four digits. So one, two, three, four digits. Now 26 match this one. Uh, second digit is more than five. So it's going to be three. And after this one, there is one digit. So 30. And this is going to be, see that after one, uh, that's eight, so that's more than one. So two, and then 120. All of these numbers are expressed as one significant figures. Now I have to find out, estimate the total amounts. So that many states in this game, and each of them is that much. So we're gonna multiply all of them. 10,000 times 30 times 20. So these are all zeros at the end and we are multiplying one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, three to the six. Uh, do I have to put it in um, a standard form or not? No, it didn't say that. So it's six followed by six zeros, that means six million, okay? And dollar sign is there. Next one, the number of items bought by 10 customers at a local store is shown so you can see that this is raw data okay not organized data state the mode and median okay so when we have the raw data we have to organize that from <clears throat> excuse me from a small to big or ascending order 
the smallest number is five so cross that one right down over here five then six i have one just one then seven one two three three sevens then i have no eight nine two of them nine nine then two tens ten ten and then eighteen don't write over here okay so just to make sure if i got everything right or not i'm gonna count my uh, organized data number of data if it comes to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah okay state the mode mode we know the uh, most appeared number over here i can see that 7 is the most appeared number okay so the mode it's going to be 7 you don't need to show any work it's one mark okay it can be shown right here find the median numbers of the items bought now median number goes n by 2 i have 10 data so two, that's even number of data. So I get five. To find out median, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this fifth term and the next term because one, two, three, four, five, this seven. Look at this, if you, if you just uh, put that in a box, over here is four numbers of data and over here one, two, three, four, five data. So you have to go the next data, okay? Because it has to be in the middle. Uh, if you box out these two numbers, over here are four data on the right hand side and left hand side four data. So you have to take fourth and, uh, sorry, fifth and sixth data and average that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's gonna be seven plus nine divided by two, that's 16 divided by two equal to eight. Even though number eight is not here, but according to our calculation, our median number would be eight, okay? Next one, the wooden plank Plunk is cut into three pieces in ratio 2 is to 5 is to 1. The length of the longest piece is 125. So longest piece is the longest ratio I have. This is the longest. In length in centimeter. Okay, these are in, uh, this is centimeters. So this is centimeter. So unit is the same. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, of shortest pieces. So this is the shortest piece. Okay, so 125 centimeter. Okay, centimeter and the longest piece. This is longest piece. So let's longest piece ratio is five. Now, uh, shortest piece ratio is one. And then we're going to find out this shortest piece. Or we can write down X. Okay, so this X is going to be cross it out to 525 centimeter. So it's going to be 25 okay, centimeter is here. So I don't need to write down it twice. The total length in meter of the plank. Okay, so to do that, okay, now we know that shortest piece is this. Okay, you can multiply this 25 with all this 5, 6, 7 times 8, that's going to be 200. Okay, you could, you could do that, but this is 200 centimeter. You have to understand this is meters. Okay, so 200 centimeter means actually 2 meter divided by 100 that's meter equal to two meters. So answer is not going to be 200 centimeter. It's going to be two meter. This math can be done in another ways. Let's say total length, you take it as I used X. So Y, Y is the total. I don't know what is the total, but Y is uh, <clears throat> total ratio is eight. And then the longest one was five. And this is 125 It's length. So y equal to 125 times 8 divided by 5. That's going to give you 25. Again, you got 200. Okay. So it doesn't matter how you do. If you do this way or that way, it doesn't matter. Okay. But answer has to be in meters. Over here, I got centimeter. So it's going to be 2 meter. Okay. Next one is question number 7. Question number says it is given that m equal to 2 point that and n is that express uh, your answer in a standard form okay so m divided by n so i can write down m divided by n so 2.1 times 10 to the power 7 and n is 3 times 10 to the power 4 uh, to take this one off i can multiply this by 10 so 3 7 so here's 7 times 10 to the power 7 that's 4 and 1 5 so subtract 5 so it's going to be 7 times 10 to the power 2 and a standard form, we write down 7.0 times 10 to the power 2. Okay, so that's the answer for this. Second one, it says, n square plus m. 
so n was 3 times 10 to the power 4 m was 2.1 times 10 to the power 7 uh, that's square so if we take that bracket off it's going to be 9 times 10 to the power 4 to the 8 plus 2.1 times 10 to the power 7 I can take 9 times 10 times 10 to the power 7 to just make this power equal plus 2.1 times 10 to the power 7 so that's going to be 90 times 10 to the power 7 I'm, I'm doing it with every steps for your own sake okay now if I take 10 to the power 7 common it's going to be 90 plus 2.1 so it's going to be 92.1 times 10 to the power 7. But you know that a standard form can be written as a times 10 to the power n, where a is greater uh, than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Now this is greater than 10. So I have to do this 9.21. So it's become smaller. So I have to take 10 and 10 to the power 7. So the final answer would be 9.21 times 10 to the power 8. <coughs> Excuse me. 9.21 times 10 to the power 8. That's the answer. All right. A bag contains red, green, and yellow pegs. A peg is taken at random from the bag. Okay. The probability that it is red. Remember, red, green, yellow. Probability of red is, probability of red is given 0.35 and probability of uh, green. Green is given 0 0.4. This is uh, two digits after that, so I'll put two digits. Find the probability of yellow. Now, all together, you know that it's one. So probability of yellow is going to be one minus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.40, and that's gonna be one minus 0 0.75. So it's going to be 0 0.25. So probability of getting yellow is 0 0.25, not red. Okay, probability of not red. Okay, so if it's not red, then they're asking probability of uh, green and probability of yellow. So green, it is to be 0 0.40 and yellow 0 0.25. So I got 0 0.65. So that answer would be 0 0.65. And originally there were 16 green pegs, so I have to go for this one, okay? See that point means 40 out of 100. Now this 40 represents 16 pegs. So what is the total in the bag? So let's total in the bags be x. So it's going to be x equal to 16 times 100 divided by 40, 0, 0, 4, 4, so, oh, okay. So originally it was, uh, there were 40, um, Pegs. Okay, so that's that. Okay, next question number nine. On the Venn diagram show, uh, shown in the answer space, shade the set P union Q prime. So Q prime, Q prime here, and P is over here, but remember it's union. So it should be something like that shade. You can just put this thing. Okay, that actually, whatever I have done over here, that's... Um, P intersecting Q prime, but it's union. So I have to shade this part as well. Okay, so that's that. Now, there are 27 children in a class, 27 children. Of this, 19 own a bicycle, 15 own a scooter, and three own neither a bicycle nor a scooter using a Venn diagram. Okay, so I have two things. One is a scooter and another one is bicycle. So I'll just draw two overlapping circles inside this rectangular box one represent bicycle another is scooter now 19 own bicycle so put 19 but remember there are some of the numbers as well we're going to come back to that later on and 15 own a scooter so 15 and three own neither a bicycle nor a scooter so let's put three outside of this uh, overlapping circles okay now over here overlapping number could be something like x now, 19 plus x, if x is greater than 0, then bicycle's owner would be more than 19. So I have to subtract x from here, and I have to subtract x from here as well. Okay, so this, 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 all together is 27. So 19 minus x plus x plus 15 minus x plus 3 equal to 27, and that's according to the question. 
So x, x cross out. This x goes over here. And 19 plus 3 is 22. Uh, 27, 37 minus 27 equal to x. So x equal to 10. Okay. Uh, now what is saying? I got x over here. Now using a Venn diagram or otherwise find the number. That's not the answer they're asking for. Answer of children who own bicycle but not scooter. Bicycle but not scooter. Okay. So they are asking for 19 minus x. Okay. That's going to be 19 minus 10 equal to 9. So this final answer would be 9. Okay. All right. Question number 10. T is inversely proportional to uh, square of L. So what they're saying, T is inversely proportional to square of L. So L squared. Okay. If I uh, change this sign to equal sign, I can put K L square. And this is some piece of uh, information given. Okay. Uh, when T equal to 9, T equal to 9, L equal to 2, so 2 square. So K is going to be 4, 9 is a 36. So this formula right over here, okay, I'm just, this, this formula is going to be T equal to K 36 by L square. And that's the formula they're asking for. So it's going to be T, I already have that, 36 by L square. Okay, so that's our formula. The value of L when T equal to 25. Now T equal to 25, I'm using this formula, and 36 L squared. Now if I just um, simplify that L squared this side, and 36 by 25, both of them are square number, 6 squared, 5 squared. You can write down 6 by 5 squared. Now if you square root both of them, it's going to be plus minus 6 by 5. So it's plus minus 6 by 5. Okay, so that's that.